Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog, another Footloose eventing vlog. Today guys, well it's a very spontaneous one, um, spontaneous in the way that I didn't know I would be doing this today, I thought it was going to be a little bit longer to wait but it's something I've been keeping a little bit quiet um, just until arrangements have been made. Anyway, I, you will have guessed from the title of my vlog, today I'm saying goodbye to my old faithful space tracker Equitrek, which I've had for four years now. Um, she's done me very well indeed and it's going to be really sad to say goodbye. Um, however, I do need something just a little bit bigger um, to fit big old Harry in uh, with Lara. <laughs> so um, that is why today I've come to Anglian Trailer Centre there's the sign behind me, uh, which is in Bury St Edmunds, which is not too far from me, um, to do the changeover. So I'm just about to go inside. I've literally just rocked up. Also, before I came, I thought oh, I better give my car a clean because it was absolutely filthy. However, I didn't. Do you know when you don't use soap and you just use the pressure washer? Now it actually looks dirtier than it was before. So I was going to turn up and impress um, and. Sadly, I'm not going to be doing any impressing because my car cleaning skills are atrocious. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go find Will, I think, who is going to show me where my new trailer is. So I've just come round the corner guys and oh my gosh, it's a thing of beauty. I am literally a little bit in shock. So do you guys want to see? Should I do a little pan round? Oh, there it is. Right, we're going to do a full trailer tour because, well, why not? It's a brand new trailer. I'm so excited. So where should we start? Trek Day Trekker XL and I'm going to start by showing you the living. Now this is something that I didn't really have before. I had the Space Trekker Medium and I did have a little bit of living in the front but there wasn't as much space as it. You're going to be shocked with this. Come on. Right. And look guys, this here, it's got a little magnet so when you pull the door it stays. Fantastic. Right, come on inside, come on inside. Look at this space! I've got a window here, I've got two saddle racks, I've got two pegs, um, and just basically, instead of me having to go and get changed in the horse area now, I can just come in here. Strip off, get changed, hey presto. Got a light here, got a little box, um, and in here is a camera for the horse area, which I'm gonna ask Will to set up for me, hopefully later. I wanted and I opted for blue and white because Footloose eventing colours, blue and yellow, blue and white was the most similar and I think it looks so smart but if you are wanting to customise your trailer they have a whole range of colours that you can have. This is uh, for the breast bar which for safety is drop down breast bar so if the horse wants to ever get its legs over the breast bar come on the outside of the trailer you actually just twist this until the point where internally the shoe that is on the, on the wall drops to the floor. Wow, okay. That is a great feature, very important. Here we have the rear of the trailer and here is another 
Right, so now some may argue the most important bit, which is where your horse goes. So you've got the lovely ramp, which importantly is completely wood free. So there's no chance of it rotting. Um, lucky rubber, anti-slip. And then up here, this is a, like, it's like cushiony. It's like a cushion paneled partition with the rubber <laughs> kick flap underneath. Um, and then you can fit up to probably two 17 two horses in here. So that was most of the reason why I wanted a new trailer was because I can't, I couldn't really fit Lara and Harry because they're both got big bums um, in a trailer. But this one is so spacious, it's amazing. The floor is aluminium, again, very important. This is, there's no wood on this trailer at all, guys. This is like a composite material. And then in terms of storage, this is new. I've got some lovely rug racks, I guess, to storage um, here. The windows. Ooh. Ooh. That's, do they, is that what they do? That's what they do. Oh my God. <laughs> That's fantastic. Look at that. All this ventilation. Again, there's one, I probably did a, I know I'm tall, but can I do it? Yeah. Look, with both ones. Well, you can do it individually. Do one side oh, at a time. Oh yeah, that's easy. Oh, but roof ventilation, which I'm actually gonna shut because it's very windy. Oh, that's really easy. That's easier than I thought. Um, and then more ventilation up here, and then bars on the window. Now, I was telling Will earlier, these bars are very important for especially Lara because when I, she's been known when I've been traveling to I, I'll look in the mirror behind me and her nose will be sticking out as I'm driving along so these bars will definitely stop her doing this this breast bar is adjustable so if I wanted to travel Bonnie in it I would have to undo these bolts and then it would go to that level which would be better for Bonnie behind me here this is the horse camera. I literally I'm so excited to use that. It's just you'll get that sense of reassurance that your horses aren't messing around in the back. But mine travel really well in these extra tracks because if you didn't know, if you haven't seen an extra trailer before, horses come in and they face this way. So you're travelling backwards. Now in other different trade Lara hates travelling forwards in a trailer. She just won't do it. Um, that's where actually her loading problem started when I had my really old rickety trailer before I first bought my Equitrack, I had another brand and um, she just refused to go in and then that's where her loading problem started because she just really didn't enjoy it. So when I got the Equitrack, once I got her in and she realized that actually it's much more comfortable for some reason, I don't know, there's probably some science in there somewhere, um, to face backwards, then she got a lot better. So I'm really grateful for this because I know that she's happy traveling, which is less stressful for me as well as her. Oh, do I have? <gasps> Where does this go? Pull it over that little bobble. <laughs> oh my God, I've never had one of these before. Look at that. Tell me how that did you will. That's an extra surprise. Right, so if you've got two horses that don't really like each other or are prone to a bit of a bicker, you can move this partition here. So you go up and then you spin it round and then it locks back into place there so there's no movement. But it's just, just if you want to keep them a little bit separate if they are prone to a little nippy. Well, it's pleasant. my last extra cleaning vlog you would have seen I lifted my ramp up with one finger. Now Will, am I going to be able to do that today? <laughs> Let's see, here we go. One finger ramp lift. Oh yes! It worked. In terms of trailer tool guys, I think that concludes it. What do you think? Good colour choice? Blue and white? I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm really excited for my first trip in it. So thank you so much to Ectrek and Anglian Trailer Centre for, uh, for sourcing me out. There's a very, lots of many happy trips.
check. I'm gonna check that you're pitched on by going up and then down again. Oh, it's kind of similar but different to mine. Oh my god. This has to be extra tight. Then put this guy in here. Clip. Most important thing to uh, remember before you drive off, put the handbrake off. Fly me. <laughs> Didn't eat my Weetabix this morning. There we go, yay! Okay, so Will is helping me set up the camera here um, in my horrendously filthy car. I said for him to ignore it. I'm trying my best. I did apologize. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, but this is, if you, you know you're a horse girl when your car looks like this. Um, I didn't have quite enough time to clean it. So, that goes on there. On. Yeah, so you can just adjust the bracket yeah. in the back. That plugs into the small socket. Yeah. The rest will have to obviously hook up to the trailer to see, because the camera draws its power from the side lights. Yeah, side lights at least need to be on. Um, so often they don't run along uh, automatically. So are these the side lights here? They are the side lights, yeah. Wow, I've um, been driving for over 10 years. And I should know what ones my side lights are. Fairness, shouldn't I? You did have them on automatic, so yeah. you have to think about that sort of thing. Right, okay. Right, so we got the camera all set up and uh, went in the back, gave a little wave to the test, and Will's just told me that actually there's sound in there as well, so. <laughs> Which is good, I suppose. So, is there. Can I turn the sound up? And down, or is it just sound? I'm sure you can in menu, yeah. yeah. You've got uh, camera setup system, so if you just use the up and down arrows and go into all of these, yeah, I'm sure there's you'll lots find of things to fiddle around there. in. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, uh, I'm going to be very reassured that my horses are traveling safely and happily, which they definitely will be. So, I guess, Will, it might be time for me to. Uh, Take it out for a spin, I guess. Take it for a spin. I'm trying to think where my first outing is. I'm not telling you guys because it might be a secret one that you're not, um, you you don't know about yet. In fact, it definitely is. So, um, yeah. Well, thank you. Let's uh, let's go. I've just got my trailer home and it towed like an absolute dream on the way back. Ah, oh, I just still can't believe it. I'm so, so happy. So basically, the deal is with Equitrek, obviously I've been a customer of Equitrek for, as I said, four years. I saved up to buy my first trailer of my own, um, which was the Space Trekker M and um, yeah, I've, I've loved them. I just love the way that the horses travel in them. And uh, the team at Equitrek said that basically um, they'd love to support me as a brand ambassador. So we've done a little part exchange, just for clarity for you guys, we've done a part exchange of my trailer for this one. And um, yeah, I feel so happy and so lucky. And um, just really over the, over the moon. I can't really actually believe it. I've never had something. I've never owned something so nice. Um, so yeah. So I'm just walking around, touching everything because it's just so very aesthetically pleasing. Right. So now I'm uh, going to take it to its bedtime spot, which is going to be back in the barn because that's where it's going to sleep. So that. I can keep it looking in such good condition. My next job for when I get back inside, however, is to go onto my insurance company. Sorry about my chap lips, guys. This is post skiing. Um, yeah, I'm going to go onto my insurance, phone up my insurance company and get it insured because I don't want to tempt fate. Right, here it is in its lovely sleeping place. Sorry, those shutters are really windy. It's really windy and rattly. 
Um, but yeah, so my trailer lives in this barn and will live in this barn just to make sure it's protected with the grain over there. Can't believe it, so happy. Um, team Equitrek, just fantastic. Anyway guys, if you are as excited as me and enjoyed this vlog, uh, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel because no doubt I will be having many, many, many adventures in this wonderful thing. Um, and I've got, a f as I mentioned earlier, got a few fun things coming up. And again, uh, I still haven't told you my big news yet. So I guess I'm gonna have to do that quite soon, aren't I? Um, so I just can't stop looking at it. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go now. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, leave a comment. What do you think? What color would you choose? I'm loving the blue and white. It's as close to my colors as I can possibly get. Um, but they've got green, they've got purple, they've got everything. So what color, what color would you choose? Anyway, I hope you are having great weeks. This is a very spontaneous midweek vlog. So I'll be back again, same time as normal on Monday um, with some fun action for you guys. See you soon. Bye.